deep, deep within ourselves, within the treasure house of our souls, are buried tremendous creative powers and abilities, but they remain unused as long as we do not know about them or as long as we deny them. They are so powerful, so beautiful, wonderful, that we are, and this is the disease of our present age, we are ashamed of them. That's why they remain unused and uh, would remain forever if we would not open the door go fearlessly into this treasure house and search for them. I was lucky enough to work with Michael Cecho for the last five years of his life and he gave us many gifts he awakened our imagination he guided us into trusting ourselves our intuition and into enlarging ourselves so that we went beyond ourselves we went beyond the image that we had of ourselves which was indeed a great gift the demonstration classes that you're going to see will introduce you to the psychophysical techniques that are at the heart of the Michael Chekhov technique. They are all intended to open the door to the emotions. Playfully, um, with ease and with no torture or pain. We're going to use the text of Three Sisters in some of the classes so that you can see the way we apply the work to characters and to text. My love is really in this technique or in what this technique has awakened in me that I can see things that I hadn't noticed before. I say to the people that I teach, I'm really not going to teach you anything you don't know already. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to remind you of these things that you are already involved with all the time. And so a lot of the, the, the teaching is to do something and say, do you recognize this? Do, isn't this something that you go through all mm -hmm. the time in relating to other people? The range of possibilities for me is so vast, and it does come out of life, but they're not things that we are necessarily that conscious of all the time. But he has made us conscious of them and then given us something, a tool to practice it so we can truly develop capacities that are innate but, but that need exercising. One thing is you have to be very active inwardly. So watch the tension. How can I become one with this object? Chekhov talks about doing the exercises as a musician would do his scales. And it gives the actor a way to practice you can take control of your own art and in that way it's 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 so empowering to work with this technique that's the transformative um, quality of all of this work is that you really try to change and these qualities of movement can do that you can even just do it with making a fist but not a a tight tense fist or with the elbow or with the knee. At some point you want to just take it inside and move and just walk with it. And you'll lose it, and you'll have it, and you'll lose it. But don't be afraid to go from that movement just to natural behavior. It will reside somewhere in you. If we find in ourselves the activity to receive, not as an idea, not as an imposition, I should receive, 
But receiving, I suggest, is to receive what's there. Yeah. I'm in charge of the house, and I know what I am talking about. I'm in charge. Don't cross me. Don't you dare cross me. I'm in charge. And I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Don't you dare, dare, dare cross me. Behind everything that we say,